How's it going, everybody? It's Ballet Bran, the Sci-Viving Hexagon. Uh, I want to say uh, thank you, everyone, that has had uh, patience, right, on this channel as I expand. And, you know, similar to my normal Ballet Bran YouTube channel, uh, that I actually develop, like, a schedule and a consistency uh, that the subscribers, right, they have something to look forward to. They have some foresight of you know how consistent I'm going to be posting. So I want to say thank you everyone for uh, the patience with that. And uh, without further ado, I want to say happy new years to everyone, right? It's now 2022, you know, today is January 1st, uh, 3.31 actually on the Pacific, uh, you know, time zone and whatnot. But I want to, you know, talk to everyone um, you know, why the, the new year's resolutions are are so popular and you know why you hear people uh, doing them so much um, and and the interesting thing about it is because uh, when I used to go to the gym every single day I would kind of keep like a mental track record of you know, who was consistent who was there consistently and and who was there for the first time and around January it was always you know so much more busy but then maybe a month later, it would kind of die down. And so I think it's really important when the new calendar year you know, comes about, which we just had, to uh, you know, possibly write down some goals and things like that. Like, once again, I've got some, uh, you know, like a legal pad right here. And I, I guess I can kind of just, well, I got, the, I got the pen clipped. But so without showing you everything that it says, you know, I just got a... Uh, you know, a little legal pad right here. And then uh, it's funny that Richard had said that he really likes his pen. It's the, uh, it's like the, the pilot, you know, the pilot G2 type of deal. But the importance of not only thinking about what you want, right? What you want to accomplish, uh, you know, what kind of goals you have for the future. So not only is thinking about it important and, uh, you know, kind of like if you have a, a seed, right? For say a plant, and you have you have two different experiments. One of them where it's just the same seed, but one of them where the seed gets no water, and then one of them where the seed gets you know the adequate amount of water, say water every single day to however much it needs. So the one that gets the water and the attention every single day, uh, you know that's going to actually flourish and grow into you know plant or flower or whatever it is. But the one over here that is just the idea or the thought or the seed with nothing else, no nutrients, no water, um, you know, that will stay in its original uh, state because nothing has been done to make that change and manifest that. So once again, I think it's really important. Um, and I'm speaking about, you know, myself included. Uh, that's kind of one of the main reasons why I made the second YouTube channel is now that I have, uh, you know, pretty much all the all the time on my on my hands as I could ever want, um, or anyone anyone else could ever want. Um, you know, you really have to uh, manage your time and be doing things that are productive and that are going to, uh, you know, propel you and push you to the the goals that you have and, and the places that you want to be um, the places where you want to go i should say uh, otherwise you know if you if you don't really have a plan that you're kind of shooting for then once again it's that analogy that i use with say uh the darts right you know say the say the hexagon 5555 thing is a little dartboard well you know if that board wasn't there and i'm just throwing at the wall then you know, I'm kind of, it's almost like closing your eyes and throwing at the wall uh, because you don't know where the actual target is. So even if you're not someone that does a whole bunch of these, you know, whether it be self-help or goals and things like that, I, I think it's, you know, pretty powerful for people to be able to exercise that. And the other thing I want to say as well is, you know, clearly since around December 2019, uh, globally, the, the world has changed and the economies have changed and things like that. And we saw with 2020 and 2021, you know, more, more uh, you know, 
advancements, I guess, in that area. It's something that you know clearly doesn't seem to be going away. But what I want to say is that you know there, there's only so much that you know individuals can control when it comes to uh, having aspirations or um, you know, wanting uh, certain achievements to be made within a certain you know time time set and things like that. So what I'm trying to say is it's almost like you're playing poker and you kind of just have to play with the cards that you have. You know, you have to play the best hand you have with whatever cards you have. And that's kind of how I feel about, you know, things that you can't control, right? External circumstances. Um, you know, all you can really focus on is uh, yourself and the people around you and, you know, kind of how you behave and things like that. But as far as uh, other opportunities go, uh, once again, um, you know, since 2019, we've seen a, uh, a major change, I would say, in some of the, uh, the structure and day-to-day -day life and things like that. But, you know, in the midst of what might seem to be not dystopic, yeah, I guess dystopic would kind of be the word where it seems like, oh my gosh, we're almost degrading as a society, some people think, myself included. But in the midst of that, you know, that's just the noise, right? But then the signal through the noise are the best opportunities. You know, if you look at, say, the, the great financial crash or the, uh, what is it, the, the dot-com crash, right, of the, of the 2000s, I think, like the late 90s, um, what was a, you know, tragic event or a loss for, say, a majority of the people that were participating almost like the 80-20 Pareto principle. Um, you know, for, for what was someone's detriment, many, many other people, they didn't over leverage themselves. They uh, stayed a little bit more conservative. And then when that opportunity came, they, you know, they pounced on it and they jumped on it with full force. And so I said that because someone like Richard, right? I want this channel to be focused um, primarily just on on SciVive and things like that. I uh, got the main channel for crypto and pretty much just crypto, Richard Hart projects for the most part. Um, but the the thing I wanted to say about you know what uh, SciVive is is doing and what Richard is doing is he understands that um, you know you have to give people what they want first before they will actually uh, listen to you and before they'll actually consider. Um, you know, uh, making some of those changes, right, that can, that can help the world and that can fix a lot of these problems. But most people don't care about those problems, right, because their needs and their requirements aren't met uh, in the first place. So, you know, why are they going to focus on something that, you know, is, is not going to benefit them if, if their needs aren't met first? So this is actually, uh, in a long time ago, I had printed off all of uh, all of Richard's books, right? So it's just two books. This is the uh, Fix the World one. You, know, you can see that right there. And then the other book is SciVive, right? Obviously the, you know, the reason why I uh, made this channel. And once again, a lot of it is to, you know, keep myself not accountable, but like to, you know, try and lead by example and to uh, push myself into whether it's once a month or uh, you know twice a month, right? Once every 14 days, I'm going to be consistent. And that's kind of the you know, biggest thing that anyone can do when it comes to making a significant change, right? What good is uh, exercising for one day? And, and even with weight loss, it's not even exercise that's the important part it's the diet. So what good is a clean diet for say one day, one week, if you know the other X amount of weeks in the year uh, that you have, you, you don't stay consistent, right? And, and sometimes that can almost be um, you know, more disheartening when you, when you try something and you do fail, right? Because you're, you're, uh, you know, you're needing to control your, uh, you know, your willpower again, and your, your consistency to, to keep it up and to keep that momentum versus, you know, falling behind and then 
letting it completely, you know, close the door behind you. I look at someone like Hexologist, and he's a really good example of someone that said he was going to do something, right? Said he was going to stream every single day. And uh, the guy streamed for 572 days in a row, you know? And, and the really cool thing about uh, you know, his experience specifically and about uh, kind of just a, a learning lesson is his, uh, his daughter was born, uh, Hex, Hexena or something like that. Um, you know, shout out to his, his baby that was born not too long ago. But, you know, he had had a goal, a commitment that he had made not only to himself, but to YouTube, to the community. And he stuck through that even through uh, the challenges, right? I think the uh, persistence is you know, sometimes more important. And at the end of the day, it's uh, what's going to get you to your goal. Um, if, if you're persistent and you are consistent, then even if you have, uh, you know, a, a day or two, right, that, that doesn't go the, the way the other days are going or the way that you would like them to, well, at least you're putting in the effort and at least you're, you know, taking that step towards whatever other change that you're, you're trying to make from the point that you are at initially. Okay, so... I guess just a couple other things I can say. So once again, uh, I've given a little bit of an update with this channel. Um, I'm gonna say at the very least, we're gonna do videos once a month. So today is January 1st. Um, you know, by, uh, by February 1st, at the very least, uh, I will have another video. And uh, I said this on a stream the other day with you know, a few guys, Crypto Heartbeat and Brandon with Rags to Riches. But uh, once again, it's the 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 community that i'm talking to that i'm uh that i'm that i'm benefiting from as much as they might be benefiting from from this but it's things like that that you know make you you know make you strive for something that's that's not just focused on yourself per se uh obviously it's cool to be able to have those goals i I bought like a digital scale the other day on Amazon and that was absolutely amazing because uh, you know, there's just so much technology with the new phone that I have and uh, the scale that, Hey, instead of, instead of like, you know, good old days, writing down my, uh, my monthly or my weekly weight on the, the pad and paper while well, the digital scale, you know, automatically saves that. And then I can I can write it on uh, on paper as well, analog. But you know what I wanted to say is that um, it's so cool that the you know community itself is is something that uh, inspires people to not just sit there and and watch. They want to they want to do something as well. They want to um, you know, help wherever they can with whatever skill set and knowledge and information that they have. But uh, that's pretty much what I was gonna say is when, when you've got something that's not just, you know, focus on yourself, when you've got something that's bigger than yourself. And, and I'll, I'll wrap this video up in just another minute here, but I look at someone like Richard, right? Richard Hart. And he's always said from uh, day one that the reason that he went public, he was, uh, you know, anonymous or pseudo anonymous for the longest time in crypto um, for, for many reasons, right? Security and not wanting people to dox them and whatever other reasons that he had had. But when he realized that he could uh, sacrifice that, you know, pseudo anonymity and the quote unquote, you know, more freedom and stuff for, uh, for more amplification of what he needed to get done to achieve the goals that he had wanted done, then he had realized, okay, hey, the the trade off is there. We're going to accept, you know, the the one con with the five or six pros, right? There's so much more that outweighs that. So that's pretty much all I have for this video. Uh, once again, it's kind of, you know, I, I don't really write these uh, these notes down or 
really structure these videos uh, a whole bunch. A lot of what I like to do just generally comes off of the, you know, off of the, the cuff. <clears throat> and, it, and it does come from uh, the heart, <clears throat> as Crypto Heartbeat would say, or, or Richard Hart, right? Because when you've got at least your general intention of, of what you want to do, and especially what you actually believe, right? Then, uh, you know, for me, the things have always kind of worked well to just go uh, solo without, you know, writing down a, a huge script. But I hope everyone kind of gets a little bit of an update with what I want to be doing with this channel. Once again, it's more so on, uh, you know, self-help. And I mean, for, for some people, like I said, um, if, if you're not a fan of, of SciVive, or maybe you are, right? You've already read SciVive. Well, um, and, and maybe you're you're lacking financially, right? You might not be financially abundant where you want to be. Well, then, you know, kind of fit the scenario and the videos and the information uh, for your specific narrative. So people like Richard, you know, he doesn't just know about crypto or self-help, but he knows about all of it. So thank you everyone for uh, once again being patient, uh, you know, commenting, liking, and subscribing to this channel. We're at uh, 288 subscribers, and uh, lastly, it's been about uh, six week, uh, six weeks since I did, you know, my last video, which was the, it was the tools we have today, which was like the internet, cell phones, even, uh, you know, even like pen and paper, like I have below here. Uh, so the tools that we have today, uh, they're so powerful for growth. You know, do we use it or do we abuse it? And I didn't even plan on this part, but uh, I wanted to say that, yeah, whether you have food, whether you have uh, the internet, things like this, um, you know, anything that that is kind of intended for, for something and that can be uh, sustained can also be uh, abused or you know, not be used the way that uh, it was intended to. You know, Richard says that, for an example, like, uh, what is it? To uh, to a hammer, everything is a nail, right? But sometimes that might not be the right tool for the job. So when we've got stuff like social media and uh, so much just, you know, endless entertainment and endless information, well, a lot of us do uh, not veg out, but a lot of us do uh, entertain ourselves or, or keep our minds occupied, right, with with those tools. But I would encourage more to, you know, not just sit behind the screen, but if you do have something uh, of of value, right, that you feel like other people can can benefit from and learn from, then I think it would, you know, really behoove someone like that to. A step up and you know push themselves in that area that maybe they didn't before. There's one one hexagon uh, K4K crypto that was uh, watching on the sidelines since the beginning, right of of hex and all the hexagons, and he was thinking like, oh, you know, some of these things can be articulated a lot better than what's being said, but that was just from the sidelines. And then when he had done it himself, he had realized, oh, okay, so here's the perspective that I was missing um, you know, un until I had actually done what they were doing. And now I've got, you know, a more, more of a respect. But even someone like him, K4K, I'm using this specifically because he had had these initial doubts and these initial fears, right? And I think oftentimes we do when we have a, a goal or ambition that we're trying to achieve. And, you know, so so one frame of thinking is, oh, what if people think I'm dumb? What if people, you know, what if I look bad? What if, uh, you know, people make fun of me? Blah, 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 blah. There's, there's a uh, endless amount of, you know, negatives, right? Cons that you can add for, for just one column of a specific topic or ambition. But then as far as the pros go, he, uh, he had mentioned that, and, and I feel like a lot of people kind of have this with, with communities, but for me specifically, the Hex community, um, but he had just mentioned that, hey, you know, he had 
never had so much support, so much uh, people that that were getting value from from what he was doing. And those are really gratifying and uh, rewarding comments to read and to understand that, hey, you know, just because, you know, say if I'm, you know, XYZ person over here, well, just because me as the, the video creator or, you know, the, the person that's doing streams, uh, just because I'm here physically and broadcasting it digitally doesn't mean that that other person that's commenting, you know, isn't an actual person. And so when I think about just the amount of people sometimes that tune into my live streams and things like that, uh, the other day we had like 133 people, you know, consistently watching. And then so when you think like, okay, these are the, the tools and technology that we have today. Um, you know, I can, I can use it for, for vegging out or, uh, or not, you know, not using the tool and, and not posting or providing the information that you, that you know about and things like that. But if you, if you do, sometimes it can just be so much more, you know, rewarding and gratifying. And lastly, you, you might have, because you had actually uh, done it, right? You had done the thing that you might've been hesitant about, things like that. Um, because you actually follow through, well, now what was initially like a fear or like a what if, well, well now that's kind of pushed to the side. And a lot of times you find out that those fears can be you know, so much more uh, overwhelming mentally than say the actual reality of of those fears and of the opposite of those fears which is what i'm trying to say which is like hey you know someone says uh what if i look stupid what if they dislike things like that but then the opposite of that question which people should always be asking themselves the opposite just so they aren't biased but the opposite is hey you know what if i am am skilled at something or uh, i know something that i can educate or help people with and what if I am able to help more than one person, right? That was always my goal was that, hey, if at least one person is watching, then um, I'm doing this for my own documentation, right? If you know, someone ever passes, guess what? You, know, you don't have all of these uh, VHSs like I did growing up, but you've got, you know, you've got a record. You've got some sort of uh, legacy or kind of history that that person was talking about or that they were wanting to do. So that's pretty much it, everyone. Uh, thanks again for all of the patience, for uh, you know sticking with it. And uh, once again, this channel and the community sometimes can uh, help yourself so much more than you ever could have by yourself. And, and sometimes people don't understand that when they haven't had the community or they haven't had the you know, extra support in, in people like that that can kind of help out. But that's all I wanna say, thank you to uh, Richard Hart uh, for all, he, all that he's done, right? I found him from a hater initially. So I'm glad that I took my own advice, right? From these videos that I make and that I did verify what the person that was talking crap about Richard versus just trusting them blindly, you know? I knew that there was so much that I didn't know about crypto that I wanted to hear the opposite of what that person was talking bad about. So uh, 2022 is here. I think it's going to be an absolutely amazing year. And once again, uh, life really is kind of like this roller coaster type of thing where uh, an, an object that's in motion, like, like as far as actually, that was kind of a bad example, but as far as, um, you know, something being uh, super high or super low, you know, in, in regards to someone's life, it never stays um, in in one direction or one level permanently, right? It'll it'll always fluctuate, and so that's the cool thing about what we've got with uh, goals, resolutions, kind of looking forward and and projecting what we want uh, for the future is that, hey, you know, there might be a curveball thrown in every now and then, but it's, it's kind of how you deal with that. And once again, um, you know, instead of seeing something that might be uh, politically, uh, you know, tragic and stuff like that, um, instead of seeing it in, in that frame, 
there's always the opposite frame of, hey, how can I use this to benefit myself, to uh, make myself more financially, uh, you know, wealthy and, and abundant? And how can I take what might be, you know, uh, a bad event or a bad thing going on? And how can we spin that and do the opposite and, and use it for, you know, our progress and, and to help other people? So once again, 25 minute video, don't want to ramble too much longer. Um, you know, I'll do another video by February 1st at the very latest. Thank you everyone that's tuning in and it's going to be an absolutely amazing 2022. So see everyone next time. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the support. Really appreciate it. Okay, everyone. So I need to add this to the video that I'm doing right now. Uh, one of the things that I didn't get to mention during my rant and you know the free free hand conversation was that when I think of hey uh, a new year, um, a new beginning as far as you know the calendar year and things like that go, um, one thing that people can do and that that I've done that you know maybe people can once again use is you know everyone knows for the most part that hey if if you if you write down your your goals or whatever you want to achieve it's a lot better than just thinking about it right because it's an extra step uh, an extra step that you're taking to do what you want to achieve well you know as as we have behind here um, I, I would recommend that. You know, just from kind of like a, you know, a fresh start, a, a clean start, kind of like a, you know, a reset button. Um, I would recommend that where wherever your, you know, living situation is or things like that to, you know, kind of give yourself a, a, a jump start as much as possible. And what I'm trying to say is like, hey, you know, for 2022, um, you know, before I sleep on this bed, uh, again, for the the rest of the year and going forward, I want to make sure that I you know clean it. And so subconsciously, it's almost like the the same reset that the actual year is, right? When it takes over, it's that same you know one out of three hundred and sixty five. So that's just what I wanted to say was that uh, maybe look at and and kind of you know self analyze the uh, the routines and the rituals that you do uh, in the morning or uh, after work or wherever in life that that is benefiting you right that that are healthy habits Richard mentions hey as far as you know lifting uh, lifting weights and and becoming healthier and not making excuses for that um, what he has learned is hey when he wakes up first thing in the morning that he does, is the working out right the the pull-ups and and the uh the push-ups and things because then you've got that out of the the way for the day and the, the sooner that you do what uh what is on the the required part of the list then you know the the less like you the less likely you are to um push it off to the next day right if you if you don't get to it until later in the day, you're going to be a lot less motivated per se than if you had already gotten that thing knocked out in the beginning. But once again, uh, you know, analyze what you're doing that is healthy, that is what you want to bring into the next year, right? To this current year now, 2022, and then do the opposite. Uh, once again, with with the tools, right? With, with your phone or whatever it is, um, ask yourself, hey, is, is this helping me in the short term? Is this helping me in the long term? Why am I doing this? Or things like that that can really kind of answer uh, some of the questions that people don't ask themselves when they're just going through the motions and things like that. So uh, you know, ideally, uh, keep keep what is good and evolve, right? Maybe uh, change and, and tweak things a little bit to, to maybe have them, you know, have a, a better result and, and yield. And then whatever is not working, right, or, or things that you could improve on, well, just try and recognize that is the first um, step in actually changing it and, and actually realizing that it's something that, hey, you could improve on by not being hindered by that thing. 
So anyways, that's what I wanted to say. And we'll add this into the middle of the video.